Hi, I'm Melissa Souza from sixth grade, and this is my science fair natural dye project. Throughout the video, if you need, you can stop and look at the graphs or of my writing better. My question was, will hibiscus give a pinker color to cotton than beets? beets? And my prediction is that hibiscus will give a pinker color than beets. My background research and each color of dye has their own room name. And depending on the dye you use, you need a mordant. Here are my variable. My independent variable is dyes. Here are the three different dyes that I use throughout the project. Hibiscus, beets, and wild fruits. My dependent variable is the different tones of pink that will give in each in the fabric. Here is my material list. Natural dyes, three cotton pads, three cups, salt, and spoons. Here is my procedure. If you need, you can stop the video and look, read it better. Here are my photos of the process. Here is my qualitative data. My qualitative data um, get, told me that hibiscus looks darker than the than beets. My qualitative data also said that. Here is my who saturation and brightness graph. So here we can see that hibiscus clearly gives a, a brighter color than the others. Here are more photos of the process. Here is my graph of the who saturation and brightness. And here's my summary. So in this project, we had to dye eggs with eggs or fabric with a natural dye. During the natural dye with super, he, we had to, we had to use things that we had at home to do the dye and it was awesome. I didn't mind using beets and we had to get hot water in for it over and wait for 15 minutes. It was also really great doing that. It was fun seeing how the color came out and I also liked waiting on the next day to see how the colors came out. It was so much fun. And here's a bibliography. Thank you for watching. Bye.